And India's Chandrayaan-3 mission is progressing smoothly for a lunar touchdown at 6 p.m. IST on 23rd of August today. However, in case of an an anomaly, the landing could be postponed to Sunday, 27th of August. For more on this, a senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, spoke to Dr. M. Anadurai, the former ISRO scientist who earned the moniker Moon Man of India. Take a look. To tell us about the intricacies of lunar landing and what it takes, we are joined by the Moon Man of India, Dr. Mileswami Anadurai, the former director of ISRO Satellite Centre. Sir, kindly tell us, uh, before landing, yeah. before giving the go-ahead command, what are the parameters that ISRO checks over several hours? Yeah, to put it in a nutshell, you would have seen the good number of launch vehicle launches. So each one has, depending upon the launch uh, specific, uh, 38 hours or 46 hours countdown. During the countdown, I think the whole stuff parameters being checked and the good amount of software upload and verify the draft is okay. I think this verification is happening there. And uh, ground systems also are ready for launch being checked. Onboard system also checked. I think something similar happens here, uh, whether the landers, hardwares are okay. Uh, software uplink is uh, perfectly okay uh, and the ground systems also ready to receive the signal in case of uh, uh, any anomaly also other system also ready or okay, alternate system also i think this checks being done if everything is clear i think then uh, go will be given like what is happening for the launch system similar thing for the lander also okay so sir uh, this is almost 20 minute process of lunar landing from this uh, parking orbit final parking orbit to touching down is completely autonomous tell us about this yeah, the autonomous means I think the required commandings, required uh, how, what sort of action the lander has to do each and every instant, time versus uh, this position, uh, this uh, thrust to get this much velocity and while doing that you will be away from the surface this much. When that's happening, what is the expected uh, scenario? I think these are all even embedded in the onboard software. So each and every second, uh, this is when it's going, whether it's going like that as planned will be keep verified. If it is, I think it, it, it's trying to correct it. Why it is not there? Is it a throttle level engine a problem? Is it a sensing is a problem? Is the onboard computer is a problem? This sort of a verification is being done. Then it, it corrects it and gets into a, a normal track. So that way, uh, the track correction is done almost instantaneously. And the required software uh, is uh, embedded on the uh, system. So that is going, re reducing the speed, accordingly coming down then taking proper orientation to go down and uh, looking for the hazard free uh, zone and uh, landing if hazard is there trying to move and uh, trying to land i think the, the everything is uh, already program is given i think as per the program it will go in case of non nominal what to be done also instruction is in a place uh, that i think you will follow that instructions so in case the landing is not feasible on the 23rd of august that is today then what will be done it takes four uh, extra days to execute the landing what goes on in between yeah, but uh, first of all, uh, there is a why there is a, it's a, some some delays ca come in. That means there is a, some problem. So that problem has to be attended to that. The one is it is not only the symptom. You have to make sure that there is no other other symptoms. Uh, whatever happened, it is not happening there. Point one. Point two is uh, now the yes plan A. You have targeted one place. That that target may not to come for the next uh, uh, season by the next day point of view. So yeah, yeah, because your orbit and the, the, the geometry point of view, you have to align that such that from starting to end, hazard free zone is available. Okay, That zone for the uh, an alternate site or uh, this site point of view, I think has to be reworked and get back. So the four days is the uh, enough time uh, for this mission is concerned. That was Dr. M. Anadurai telling us about the intricacies of Chandrayaan's landing and how this rover and lander have been autonomously programmed to execute their job almost completely autonomously and land safely on the lunar surface. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bangalore, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.